Well, today I am in Winchester, Virginia, picking up some Red Bull. And right now I'm just waiting for a door. I don't have any doors open. I have the phone number, and then eventually when they get a door open, they'll give me a call. And I can back in and start to wait all over again. So, just part of trucking. <clears throat> you ever come to this place, your computer directions are going to be wrong. By the way, they're going to send you into a residential neighborhood to an elementary school, which is fun. But it's not that big a deal. Stay calm. It's enough room to get yourself turned around and get back out of it. If you happen to see this before you go to the wrong place, as soon as you get off of 81 and get on 11 North, you're going to come up to a Target, uh, I think a Red Robin or some other stuff, and there's the, the road that you want is to your right immediately. So don't follow the GPS directions. It's going to take you down the road another mile or two and then run you up into a residential neighborhood. So just a little information for you also this place is tight it's a new facility but it is not big enough for what they're uh, intending it for the trucks are backing and jacking and wiggling and maneuvering all over this place and there's already been a couple of, of near misses and don't get me wrong there's enough room you can do it, it they will fit but it's uh it just amazes me that people build brand new buildings. And you, know, you can see that one's, that's a new facility, relatively new facility. And that they don't build these uh, lots big enough for the trucks uh, to, to uh, back in and out of and, and maneuver. Now, if you didn't have trucks parked on this side, there's plenty of room here. But they have all down this, this section, they have truck parking. So if there's trucks parked in those holes, that's gonna make it a little bit snug to get in and out. We have been working on our office for the last few days, getting that set up. Still working on it, still getting that together. It's coming together, it's nice. Uh, it's like anything else, it's uh, both good and bad. It's, uh, it's necessary and it's a fun thing to do, but it's also a pain in the butt, like a lot of things are. Uh, you know, just anytime you're setting something new up, it's time consuming. I guess if you were already had a whole team of people and have people you know installing furniture and all that stuff for you but when you're a small business owner you wear all the hats you're the janitor the cook the uh, furniture assembly person the moving crew <laughs> anything needs to be done you're going to be doing that and at the same time you're still going to be trying enough to run enough loads to keep the money in coming in so you can pay the bills so we've been putting desks together and putting stands together and putting printer things to hold the printers and stuff together and take a little break from that and trying to pick this load up and you know, take this load up to Pennsylvania and deliver it in the morning. And then we got loads lined up for the next several days running, you know, the, the region or the surrounding area, surrounding states back and forth for the most part. So even the yard jockey has a, has a tight space he has to deal with, so. But that's what the deal is, and uh, I haven't done a, a updated tour of the office yet because I haven't really got quite enough stuff uh, done in there yet to show you, but um, soon, since we get a few more desks and stuff installed. So look at the truck on the other side. Now, if that truck had any sense, that guy would get in his truck and move the hell out of the way so that yard jockey can back up, but. Oops, dropped you. Almost dropped you. A lot of drivers today have no courtesy, no common sense. You know, when you see that guy's trying to back up, move your damn truck out of the way so he can back in that hole. But, you know, this is another place, by the way, that they want you to wear your vest. I just took mine off. I've got one over there. Um, you know, so you need to have a vest even if you don't wear the thing all the time because some customers want you to wear it. You need to have a a mask i don't typically wear that but this place wants you to so i've got one keeping the truck and um 
you know, it's a good idea also to have regular shoes. A lot of guys wearing uh, flip-flops these days, which is not a good idea. Foot, to me, flip-flops are shower shoes. And you do what you want to do, but um, flip-flops are not allowed in, at this particular place. And a lot of other places don't want that either. And uh, it's liability. I and mean, if something happens and you get your feet hurt and that kind of stuff. So anyway, uh, have uh, appropriate footwear, have a vest have uh, a mask if people trip me out it's like this guy walking over here you get a mask pulled down under his chin which i don't blame i don't wear <laughs> i don't wear the thing either you know but even if people work in these places have it pulled down over the below their nose or under their chin or are not wearing it so it's it's almost comical um but whatever you have to you know try to keep the customers happy and keep the places that you go uh, as happy as you can and you know, a good customer service, so have the things that you need in the truck to comply with the rules and stuff that they want. Also, that gate down there is the only way out of this place around the curve, so it makes it daggum hard to get back out of here. You can see this guy trying to back in next to this gold truck. I mean, you see that or not. He's got room, but he ain't got a lot of excess room. You know, somebody not paying attention, it'd be very easy to tear a truck up, so. Uh, take care, be safe, and I'll talk to you again soon in the next video.